Hello. Um, I'm very happy to present one case that uh, was, um, it, it, it represents one of uh, our case of studies in uh, GBA factory. Actually, at the moment, it is not green, but it will be, hopefully. And it's very integrated, I think, with the presentation that uh, has been done earlier, because I'm talking about district eating and cooling. And as explained before, it, it is a matter of dimension sometimes, but it's very uh, important to concentrate sometimes production of energy, since it can give some much more efficiency in the process and sometimes you can use many uh, energy sources depending on when it's worth the one or the other this has been this is a project that started in 2009 since it's going on from then and uh, it's in Central in Veneto, in Italy, in uh, an industrial area of Padua. I don't know if you know the city, which is very famous about university, which was one of the ancient university in Europe. Actually, this is a commercial area, principally commercial area, which uh, was, has been built in 2009. And we, uh, as uh, an ESCO, we built uh, the power station. So at the moment I'm explaining one of the, if you have the manual that uh, can be provided to you at the entrance of the GBE factory models. This is one to many actually model. And as you see, it was a very huge proje uh, project since it was on 20,000 square meters. And it was uh, in this area that you can see here. And it's growing, it could be growing in serving this part of, uh, of uh, the, the complex. And also, as you can see after, we have other projects, um, we are pro uh, planning to expand it in other uh, very interesting uh, places close to this area, which are using uh, energy usage, in, uh, usage intensive. This is, uh, we are using a, a very high, um, level of technology, we're using cutting edge technology at the moment, in 2009 we were quite early in this kind of application, since we made, I think, one of the first uh, district heating at low temperature. We are now, clim uh, we give, provide climatization at, at a lower temperature, since usually district heating works at very high temperature, at 100 degrees, almost steam, but this is very uh, ineffective in terms of distribution losses. If you use energy at a level, a lower temperature, then you can apply technologies such as heat pumps in a very effective way, and you can save a lot of energy. So I'm now showing you a little bit the technology, not being boring, I just want to uh, give to uh, the people here that would like to replicate some kind of uh, investment like w the one we did in the same, uh, I think it's very replicable. I mean, the location is in the center of powder, as I told you, the commercial eating is very interesting because it uses a lot of uh, heating and a lot of cooling. That's why we made both energy sources. And now we're planning to expand. It could be as, uh, with the piping going to other uh, center. It, the, the central station uh, has been built uh, in a modular way, such as can, it can be expanded in, in the and here you have the absorption uh, technology, which is used by recovering the heating provided from combined heat and power to produce cool, cold in summer season. So you can recover all the energy. These chillers here, the heat pumps, are fed by the energy produced by the combined heat and power. So it's a very efficient cycle. As you can see, we have up to 70% efficiency from hot water to cold water in the absorber chiller. And we have screw uh, chillers, which are very effective in, uh, uh, this is a, uh, the, the, the efficiency rate. The seasonal efficiency is higher, it's uh, more than four. Then we have, this is the heart of the system, echo, echo generation. I mean, in, in this presentation, a lot of people talked about uh, combined heat and power. Combined heat and power, I think, also in 
uh, a field that is very energy intensive like uh, the tourist uh, centers and also swimming pools are a very good solution. We use uh, a German technology, <laughs> the others use the, the Italian technology, <laughs> just to, to stay in Europe. This is very efficient and, uh, I mean, it's a quite medium-sized machine. It's 323 kilowatt per machine. We have four of them. And they are very efficient in terms of electricity production. Then, this is the, an important part, the energy supply. The fact is that uh, we have four kilometers of piping going around. I've seen at the, at the beginning of the project that um, uh, central, uh, the uh, biogas uh, power center was quite far from uh, the, um, the, the point of use in the, in the, first, uh, the first project. Then the second project I've seen here in Albena is closer to the usage. It's very important to reduce uh, the energy losses by distribution. We worked also on temperature, which is quite interesting because of climatization. Now we have a lot of usage like uh, uh, the, 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 food heat, the, the, the ground heating or maybe an air conditioning heating, which is not at 7 degrees for cooling or 70 degrees for heating, but can work lower with a lower temperature for more time. This can save a lot of money and you, and you can use heat pumps in this, in this way with a very high efficiency rate. These are the exchangers. This is a very big one, this is a smaller one. So we, uh, we can provide a lot of points with, with the energy. They can reverse cycle, so they can provide also cooling. And they are, of, uh, of course, completely remote controlled. So, the economics. I'm not boring you with numbers. You have seen a lot of them. <laughs> I'm just going to tell you that, uh, of course, with the help of uh, uh, your community and its in incentives with uh, efficiency and uh, renewable energy, uh, we, can, we can have a lot of help. But, of course, the project should stay on his foots, his feet. Uh, by its own. In this case, um, if you have a lot of energy used all over the year, uh, it's quite easy to stay, stay up with the, with the project. So as you can see, the power one is one too many, as I was telling you. This is um, uh, it's supplying uh, an extra energy, electricity. This is a very interesting point. The, uh, the electricity is used to, uh, for the heat pumps and chillers. But since the machine sometimes works, usually in winter, a lot more, they produce a lot, uh, much more energy, electric, electric energy. Electric energy is a very high value energy since it can be distributed in a, a low cost way. But it's interesting, uh, it depends on legislation you have, I don't know, in Bulgaria. It's interesting to find a, a point that it's using or can use the energy directly. So you don't have, it to, you have, to, you don't have to sell it to the system and can you, use, you can use it uh, uh, zero kilometer far from your uh, production plant. So we have a, a very high efficiency uh, production uh, in, in this kind of application and we have incentives that are uh, giving our business uh, sustainability. So what's the next step? The next step is going green. As some uh, speaker before told, there's a way very interesting is to make biogas and feed the pipeline of gas by purifying it. In Germany and Austria, I know they're very uh, at a high level in this, in this application. This is very interesting since Italy has a very distributed uh, uh, gas pipeline, uh, which is capillary, it goes everywhere. Uh, I think in Bulgaria too there uh, are maybe pipings or it's easier to find or ancient piping in, in gas. It will be easier to, uh, to, to use the, the, the gas, the, the biogas, if it could be uh, spilled in, uh, or sent to the, to, the, to the normal distribution. So in, uh, what, what is our plan? We are lucky actually because we have uh, um, close to uh, our power plant there's a, um, a waste recovery center and they, if they are actually they have also uh, um, a biogas produ production and we want li would like to link it. In this way we can provide biogas to our combined heat and power machines and so we can save 500 tons of CO2 
every year, which is quite interesting. But in this way, we can go green a, a very huge area uh, of uh, uh, of Padua uh, could be could be fed by uh, green gas. Uh, and actually, this is an application. I, I think it's quite repl uh, replicable in in the in the in the tourist uh, sector, since there are a lot of uh, uh, hotels in the same area, and they are very energy intensive in terms of energy, electricity, energy uh, for cooling and heating.